Well, Christine, we're live at Loma Linda University Hospital because the 18-year-old who was involved in that accident is here because he has massive head injuries and his friends say they're afraid he may not make it. But the 13-year-old in that accident died at the scene. He's a good kid. He's a really good kid. Terry Osterblad can hardly come to terms with it. His 13-year-old boy, Dylan Elder, with a big smile, left on the road to die. My son was left laying face down out here on the side of the road, and it's not right. Osterblad says Dylan grabbed his brand new bike to go with his friend late last night on an errand so his friend didn't have to go alone. They were on a dark winding road that comes down from the mountains. Dylan was on the handlebars. We had a uh, driver who was um, heading in the opposite direction. He passed the cyclist. He passed a red vehicle and moments later heard a collision. Family members came running out of their house nearby. They had to search for Dylan in the dark. They were about 50 to 80 feet away from where the impact took place. They were either thrown or dragged. Cars fly by as friends and family stop by the scene on Mill Creek Road in Mentone. It is excruciating for Dylan's family. As of daylight, the driver had not been arrested. His two older brothers feeling a mix of shock and anger. We were real close. Loved him a lot. He meant the world to me. I just miss him, you know. Well, I hope they catch him before I do. By late morning, police found the car not far from the scene. Dents on the side tell the story. And on an anonymous tip, they found the driver at a San Bernardino hotel. I just, you know, I want my brother back. You know, you took him from me. <laughs> Give him back. Under arrest for vehicular manslaughter and felony hit and run is 36-year-old Mark Cretelli of Santa Barbara. Police say when they went to that hotel to arrest him, he told them that he knew he hit something. He didn't know it was a person. Live in Loma Linda, Liz Warren, Fox 11 News.